Right, so Happy New Year to everybody. Uh, I'm eager to get out and film a new episode. And I'll kick things off by visiting an area where this very much all started for me. And uh, for some reason, I have a very strange affinity with the place. And that affinity is hard to explain, but I'll give it a go when I take you around not one, but two golf courses in this week's episode. My love affair with Lynx Golf started on the east coast of Scotland. East Lothian is home to some of the best golf courses anywhere in the world, and most of them are all packed within a five mile drive between the towns of North Berwick and Gullen. Muirfield is an open venue, Renaissance is the current home of the Scottish Open, but there are a couple of golf clubs that don't get the limelight of their illustrious neighbours, but are more accessible and more affordable for most to get a taste of the magic that is known as Scotland's Gulf Coast. Right, so we're gonna start things off on a course that, you know what, I've played virtually every course in this area, but I've not played this one. There's a lovely little mist hovering over the golf course, and let's go and see what Gullen number three has to offer. Before we go any further, I have a big announcement to make. Following our recent appeal, Tacomo Golf stepped up to sponsor the next five episodes of our series, which I am hugely grateful for, and you all helped make this happen. We will, of course, be talking more Tacomo in the coming weeks. So I always say the same thing, wherever I go, it's the backdrop that makes it for me. And Gullen's got three golf courses. Uh, this is Gullen number three, but the views remain the same. That's Abilady Bay in the backdrop. On a clear day, you're seeing over to Edinburgh across the Firth of Forth, and uh, it sort of doesn't matter how good or bad the golf is, which is what I always sort of say. When you've got views like that, and you've got a golf course in this kind of condition, first week of January, I think as it stands today, the green fee is as low as 40 quid to pay, play this place. And there isn't any better value to get this kind of quality links early January. It's phenomenal. My first realistic birdie chance of the day, and I'm on the 10th, so it's not been the best golf. These greens run really true and still plenty of pace in them. Come on, let's see if we can hold one. Roll out, roll out, get there, get. <laughs> ah, dear me, I thought I had that, you know. I think there might have been a little bit of a salute to the crowd and maybe a bit premature. <laughs> I just want to say, can I get some love this way in terms of the photo competition? Because everyone is picking Tracy or Hannah every week and I ain't getting no love whatsoever. And she's just spent an hour getting a photo of this. So if it wins again, I'm going to start sticking my name on her photos, I think. My affinity with East Lothian started the first day I visited. I fell in love with everything about the region. Some of my favourite golf courses, landscapes, beaches, pubs, restaurants and friends I made along the way and its proximity to Edinburgh make it a special place for me. But it is of course the golf that keeps me coming back for more.
Right, I think we're going to be finishing things here and uh, on to our accommodation very shortly and then we kick off with another round tomorrow. It's the 15th, it's very much an elevated position. Every course at Gullen has got one hole that's coming down the hill to finish. 15 on number three, I think it might be 17 on two and uh, the 18th on number one. Anyway, got camera pinned on the green, let's see if we can get a decent shot to finish. Oh, hang on, that is good. I don't, you won't pick the ball flight up, it's whether or not the yardage is right. Oh, it's kicking in as well. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh my word. I seriously hope we've picked that up on the camera that's down here, because for a minute I thought I had a chance of that going in. You know how close it is and you've seen it come past the flag. So hopefully we can finally get that birdie. Okay, still not had that birdie. This is the time. Come on, Mez. It was a bit of a limp effort, to be honest with you. I think hit firm enough, we might have got that one, but again, I'll still smile, look at that backdrop. So now just a five minute drive from Gullen number three, about to check into our accommodation for the next two nights. Craigielaw is the perfect golfer's hotel. The accommodation is always immaculate and everything you need for a good night's rest. Then in the morning, a full Scottish awaits and we're ready to go again. You're gonna see plenty more coastal views where we're going today because we're just going a few minutes down the road. This is the beach in North Berwick and we're off to the Glen. I'm going to show you what is one of the best value courses you will ever see. Coastal views like they're just incredible. Blow your mind on what a golf course this is. I realise that in these videos I talk a lot about views, but that's another one. They're pretty much 360 at um, the Glen. This isn't a nice view though, this is like a racetrack down the slope and uh, it doesn't need a great deal. Come on, come on, come on. Why is it sometimes the ball just will not go in the hole? I can make this one. <laughs> Just about. If you're on this coastline, you'll generally hear about Bass Rock. And that is it in all its glory, because for some reason we've gone into the shade now. But Bass Rock is just bathed in sunshine, and what an incredible view that is. Well, Chip all pulses the question, because uh, flag is about, ah, I'll be a couple of yards on at the front, and I've come long and uh, there's a ridge that's about eight foot short. Almost impossible. Chase down, don't grab too much. Get to the rise, get to the rise. Ah, almost caught that two, nipped it off the top and you could hear it sort of spin straight away. That's gonna leave a tricky downhiller. But the condition of the greens and chipping off the fringes, it's just unreal for January, isn't it? So, so good. Another yard or so. There's a big swing off the left as well. So this just needs tapping down the hill. And then swing, 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 swing. I don't seem to be able to hold a pot at the minute. Ah! Right, 
guys, we're going to take on a bit of a challenge on the ninth hole, which is very much a photographed hole. Bass Rock in the backdrop, elevated tee, 200 yards from up here. And I've just an opportunity to say, I'm going to play a five iron. I'm going to play uh, what is the 101 T, and I've also been playing with the 301 CBs. They're the two Tacomo irons I've been playing in this round. Now, I'm not going to give a massive big shout out to Tacomo. They've not asked me to, but I just wanted to make you aware that's the irons and the fairway woods that are featured in these videos and i'll do an extensive review of both in the coming week so thank you to tacomo performing well so far i'm gonna go with five iron like i said and hopefully we've got the camera ready on the green i noticed that yesterday's was out of focus but hopefully we see this one a little bit clearer it's got to go a bit needs a bounce Needs the bounce, I've got one. Go on, a bit more. Go on, over the brow. <laughs> over the brow. Oh my word, and Do you know what? If I'm being honest, maybe it was a little bit uh, off the bottom, which is a bit of a shout out to the Tacoma Iron because it did really well. But from this elevated position, the ground is still firm enough for it to just bounce on a little bit. And uh, from here anyway, it looks about six or eight foot away. Right, come on, just give me that birdie. It doesn't look a lot, in it? But, uh, yeah. Come on. It's got it, I think. It's got it. Oh! I've done a few premature celebrations and that was another one. Oh, my word. Ah, oh, sun's in my eyes. Can you believe it? January. You know what? In the space of 24 hours, we're just hitting the ball so much better today. I don't know if it's travelling up yesterday or what, I can't think of any other excuses, but oh my word. I continue to talk to my golf ball and it choosing to ignore me it's time for photo of the week you know the drill by now and thanks to all who cast a vote Right, I think we'll finish this week's episode on that high. And I'll be honest with you, I think if that doesn't go in the hole, it's rolling a fair bit past, but uh, we'll finish on yet another amazing backdrop. By the way, this is the 13th hole. It's very much uh, the Glen's own Pebble Beach. And this place is phenomenal value. It's a really, really good golf course, first and foremost. 
some incredible views in excellent condition and the value bit is just well that's the added bonus so what you've seen in uh, this week's episode is uh, a way to play this area on uh, a realistic budget and still end up with some incredible golf I realise these videos can sometimes be a little subdued and I'm conscious to not bring the mood down too low, but solitude on the golf course allows some time to be reflective and grateful for many things that would have originally annoyed me. There are no such thing as bad golf shots anymore, just some are not as good as others. I'm pleased to say golf is now played on my terms. See you next week.